you're watching Dave's TV. And now to Dave in his man cave. Take it away, Dave. What's up, everyone? Dave from Dave's TV, and welcome to the man cave. Um, today, I'm going to do a quick beer review. Uh, suspended my Oktoberfest right now because I've only got one left. I did. I said that in the last video. I'm saving that for a special occasion. So I'm going to do one that I found in Win Dixie. It was on sale in the clearance cart for beer. So it's an Italian beer, Peroni Nastro Azzurro. Um, I've heard of this beer, never had one, so I thought I'd go ahead and try it. Um, it's a Italy Euro Pale Lager. Uh, it's 5.1% ABV. It's not too bad. Um, refreshing lager with a light body and a balanced aroma. Peroni is Italy's number one premium beer according to this website, uh, which is not theirs. It's a, uh, that's from Total Wine. That's what Total Wine says, which I'd like to go visit sometime. I heard they got a lot of good craft beer there. Um, Category it says lagers represent some of the most approachable, easy drinking beer styles available, which contributes to lagers consumption's edge over ale. Despite the fact that ale styles are more numerous and were consumed thousands of years before lagering and cold aging took hold, uh, so this is basically a lager. So let's go ahead and open it up, and it looks with the bottle looks green bottle looks kind of clear to me, looks light. So let's go ahead and pour it in. Yeah, she is pr pretty light. Oh yeah, that made the best. It's okay, I'll get it after the video. Oh yeah. Should I have a neck down here? Got a little too excited on that one, it's okay. It's been a long day at work, and I can't wait to drink this. Got a good head on it. Go ahead and give her a smell. I like doing foreign beers. This one also smells like a Heineken too. It kind of it has that European beer smell. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I refer to a Heineken because when I was overseas, that's pretty much what I drank. And Stella beer, and they they have that. I don't know what the ingredients is that makes it smell like that. It's not a bad smell. I just I know I can tell if this is a European style beer. So let's go ahead and. Take a swig. Not bad. Definitely on the light side. I mean, the alcohol content's not that, it's not extremely light because most of your light beers in America are 4.0, 4.2. This is the bottle. <clears throat> it's got a real light tint to it of on the light spectrum of gold, real light. It's got a little bit of carbonation. It's not a whole lot, not a whole lot of carbonation. It has a good taste to it. I will give it that. Um, I would drink it again. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to go buy it. I mean, it's not the best lager I've ever had. Um, they, but like I said, I haven't drank a whole lot of foreign beers and I'm hoping to get some more, um, especially some Asian. I haven't found any Asian products in my county that I live in in Florida. Um, but hopefully when I, I'm gonna go to Total Wine and check that place out, maybe I can find something. I'd like to do a whole Asian series on different Asian beers. That'd be pretty cool. Um, right now we'll focus on Oktoberfest and come October, I've got some different October beers I wanna do. So. If you uh, would, subscribe to my channel, like, definitely
definitely leave a comment. Um, also share this on all the social media. I have social media up on my um, YouTube channel. Uh, once again, everyone, please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. And cheers, everyone. I hope you have a nice Tuesday evening. It's not too bad.